Geek Tonight's what's poppin' is done as we are back with another Assassination Clash. I'm sorry about last week, guys. It's been a while. But last time on Assassination Classroom, we had the biddies of the biddies of the biddies in this thing. She was throwing that thing back, trying to get all the tip just so she could yak yak or shoot him with the bang. She tried to set my dude up, though. She was like, look, hey, come, in the, come over here, bro. Come, come have a little private time with your, with your girl over here. And that shit didn't go well. <laughs> that didn't go well at all. She thought she had him on the okie doke because she was like, look, I'm stacked. I'm ready to go. I'm thick with it. And boy, was she wrong. That shit went horribly wrong. Got okie doke, then got caressed and put in different clothes. Like, hey, I'm going to give you a massage all over your body. I was like, what is going on around here? So she felt some kind of, you know, she was upset, violated in a... It was really strange. I'm like, bruh, first of all, you was doing the violating, right? You was doing the violating, that shit backfired. So, hey, man, I, and I think at the same time, too, like, she thought just because she was a bad bitch that that was going to be what it was going to take. Like, oh, yeah, I know how to get him. That did not work, bro, at all. He was like, nah, bro, and you shot with regular bullets. Like, bro, what? You supposed to be a top assassin. You should have known already that shit wasn't going to work. The kids knew that. You know what I'm saying? Like, how you not know that? Top assassin? She got that ass in assassin, though. You know what I'm saying? She put the ass in assassin. But make sure you guys, first of all, smack the like button before we get into this, man. Do you do yourselves a favor. You're getting free content here. Smack the damn like button. And also check out the podcast with Alina, uh, Alana Sheree TV. That will be linked uh, at the end of the video and in the description box. Also, this week dropping for the podcast is the Geekdom 101 interview. You don't want to miss that. It's going to be fire. And that drops on Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday. What did it do? Just, just make sure the bell is rung. Also, the Absolutely Geeks clip channel, uh, clip channel is live. Um, that's going to be clips of reactions, some that had got blocked. Clips of those will be there, uh, and obviously clips of the podcast. But without further ado, guys, let's get this thing popping, bro. We know what time it is. Y'all know what time it is. Let's go. <laughs> you know what's kind of crazy? Let me just turn this down because it's kind of loud in my ear right now. Uh, the kind of situation about this is kind of interesting is my man, he asked him, like, oh, you could have done this way faster if you'd have just done this shit yourself. And he was like, ah, oh, you know, it's funner with you guys. And they opened the door, and my man immediately got attacked, and he's still dressing the, he's still dressing the room with everything, which is kind of funny. Well, see how this turn out, turn out, look, turn out. Assembly time for the assembly. Uh. Uh. Not this is poison. Please drink it. Oh, chill. <laughs> what? His face is starting to get pretty fancy. What is going on here? You turn a Super Saiyan? Not white face. My dude turned into an egg, bro. <laughs> what up, egg? Huh? Bruh. Hey, man, I can't have you doing that shit unsupervised, so... How about later we work on a poison that could kill me and we can go from there. <laughs> what, bro? This shit hella funny, bro. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. 
Oh, what's sad, uh? Ha! <laughs> if you're not hiding, don't get too close. Yeah, I'm not your target, man. It's back up, cuz. Cuz I'll hit it for sure. I'll hit that for sure. <laughs> Why don't they just make one of those tennis rackets out of that material? Okay. So communication is not her, her best her best situation. What? <laughs> oh what? Oh chill. Yeah, why are you in there? You know what's dope though? I, again, this is one of those things where this this show is really dope. At even though obviously they're trying to kill him, he's still teaching them stuff. Like they're he's building their confidence in who they are as individual students, trying to help find what their strengths are and really help them out. That's one of the best parts about this entire uh, series so far. It's actually been really dope. That is a Kuno Don. You like a Pokemon. Hmm. Not Professor Bitch. And she got them cakes up in her attention. Hmm. Not but ugly. Ha. <laughs> Bad bitch walking. First of all, she like, look, you gonna give it to me, little man. <laughs> Yo, bro, this shit comedy, bro. Uh huh. Hmm. <laughs> she like, I'm trying to stab this motherfucker in front of everybody else right there. <laughs> Yo, bro, he like kill, kill. 
Bitch, you ain't built like that, bro. You know who is built like you know you don't even know, bro. My whole my whole class, we built like we out here, bro. Kill, bro. I I should I would why smack well, you better back up. Bro, let's go, bro. Smile like bitch, what you kill like you try to kill somebody. You trash. Ha! <laughs> Facts. Ah, like, bitch, you ain't built like this. See? <laughs> ah, let's go, bruh. Come on, my guy. He like, bruh, see, my students ain't no punks, bro. They like, what? No, we about this, bruh. Hold on. What was, what was that? What was that? Hold on. The what class? The E class. The N class is shoving normal students aside. So basically, he doesn't want, he wants them to feel like trash. He wants them to feel belittled, whatever. He doesn't want them to feel like dominant, like, no, I'm actually the one. I'm one of the ones, you know what I'm saying? Like Mr. Organic. You know who Mr. Organic is, dear research. But I'm just saying, that's what it seems like. Right? He's like, nah, nah, we need y'all to be this. But they're like, nah, we ain't that though, bro. We built different. And our teacher on another level. Yeah. <laughs> Not the hidden leaf Naruto headband, bro. Let's go, bro. <laughs> ha. <laughs> Get out of here, bruh. Now, this shit's tight, bruh. I fuck with this shit so much. This shit is so tight. I don't know, bruh. Test time. What a Rubik's cock. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah, bro, y'all, I'll just take it apart and put it back together. That's how I solved the puzzle. You, I, I already don't like you, bro. You you look, you smell like a midnight, bro. Mm. What? Hold on, so he was created to be the savior, but then became the villain? What? What is going on? The worker ant principle? Yeah. Oof. Yeah, bro. Education's favorite son. This is his dream, his fantasy.
He like, look, bro. But see, this is tight because he he sees the potential as humans, right? Where the other teachers just say, oh, well, you're lazy. It's like, it's one of those things of like the idea of teaching one way for every person. And I'm not saying that you have to make accommodations for everybody, but, every, but people learn differently, right? So, and people have different interests. So in, in, the, in the space of education, if I'm not interested in science, right? I'm not going to really have a ton of, intrigue in that class or I'm really going to go beyond what this what is you know basically necessary for me to just have a basic understanding of science as if you know I'm into architecture and I'm in that class and I'm you know all invested in the software and you know each program each uh, you know assignment that I'm getting I'm like taking the utmost care about stuff like this is what's dope about this is he's he's really trying to cater the learning experience per the student so they can get the most out of who they really want to become and what they're interested in. I think it's really dope. Basically, what he's stating is like, look, if you don't have an additional skill, this ain't like you need more than just this. You need something else. You gotta you gotta have something else. Hmm. See, I don't use the dotlish, uh, the the doltish teaching method methods that they do in the main campus. I don't do this fucking one for all type shit. No pun intended. You know what I'm saying? I don't do that. Will those blaze of confidence, bro? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in class, <laughs> smacking ass. What? Make it last. What? Pass the gas. Ugh. See how I go. I'm on a roll. I do it nice. I hit it twice. <laughs> what? So that's the test of them. That's dope. That was a dope, like, uh, a dope analogy. Hmm. Cook it up, bro. Get to cooking. Hmm. Look at that, bro. What? This isn't supposed to be happening. I, 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 I. crazy but he's like look i want to make sure that this happens so we want to make sure we don't give them certain things that they can learn so they stay in this mindset they stay in this place bruh ass ha <laughs>
へえうんepisodes bro this shit is tight bro like it was just one of those things of like understanding like this system shit is crazy it's kind of wild bro because you know you kind of think of like our it, it makes you think like are certain school systems set up that way you know what i mean like is it is it i'm 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 asking in a generalization i'm not saying like oh this is an exact same thing but you know, it begs the question for certain communities that don't get education the way that other schools do. It almost seems like this. It almost feels like it's a deliberate, like, no, we're going to let them be in a in a peril situation. We're going to let them not get the education that they should be getting because we want to make sure that these other schools, you know, have the prestige that they have. You know, in the same way, this is like the classes as opposed to like the actual schools themselves. So really interesting. And it, being like, with this principal, having this uber logical way of educating and trying to build a culture around education while the intent is good it's still like all right well we want to make sure that we make an example uh, out of these students being terrible students to the point where you don't want to be them ever right we want to make sure it seems like that's the worst shit to be and then when you guys saw them at that assembly and they're like man like i kind of want to be in class see that should look fire your teachers look tight you got some attractive students you got uh you got you know uh bitch sensei over here looking like a baddie bad looking like a schnizzack you know what i'm saying like it's one of those things where it you're you're now making it seem attractive when they don't want that to be a thing so uh i'm, I'm enjoying this quite a bit obviously it's not a lot of oohs and ahs and not a lot of crazy okie dokes but i like the development that the, the the teacher is helping the students with and i think that whole idea of you know you you have one plan right now and that's just, that's this your 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 whole thing right now is just to kill me. You're not thinking of any other any other you know weapons for the rest of your life. You just focusing on me only. One of you guys is gonna is gonna kill me. One of you guys, and then what? The rest of you guys get what? Nothing. The rest of you guys get nothing out of that. So it's actually really dope. It's a dope concept of utilizing weapons in an assassination uh, as a metaphor to your personal life skills. I think it's really dope. Um, but yeah, let me know your guys' thoughts on this episode or these episodes in the comments down below. Make sure you guys check out the previous podcast, the Lana Sheree TV. Coming this week will be the Geekdom 101 podcast episode. You guys don't want to miss that. Also below here, there's the Absolutely Gleek, uh, Absolutely Gleeks, Absolutely Geeks Clips channel. Uh, go subscribe over there. There's going to be clips from the podcast and also clips from reactions on the channel and also reaction videos that have been taken down from YouTube or blocked. There'll be clips of those over on the channel as well. So make sure you guys go subscribe to that. But other than that, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Till then, stay geeked.